It's usually home to park runs and, of course, the Isle of Wight Festival, but today something unfamiliar has landed at Seaclose Park. It was all eyes to the skies as an RAF Chinook touched down in Newport. So today is a, a continuation of all the preparation that we've been doing here on the island. Um, I've been up to the hospital earlier to look at the installation of the new beds, which has been done by the army. And then today we've got the RAF and the Chinook coming over to make sure that our plans, if we do need to take people off the island, um, or for whatever the purpose is, um, we can get that accessibility. The exercise was a test run in case sick islanders need to transfer to the mainland. Wing Commander Sean Riles says it's something the RAF has experience in. So it depends on how it's fitted out inside. We would take about 31 troops normally. Um, we can move um, quite a few stretches. Covid patients, if we had to move them, we could probably move three, depending on how many staff would be with them. Um, and the range for someone like this is about 300 uh, nautical miles, depending on the amount of fuel that we carry. This is a Mark 6 that's flying today. Well, obviously on operations, we use the Chinook for this kind of facility to move injured servicemen from, from the battlefield back to the field hospitals. So yes, we've, we've done that before. The Isle of Wight NHS Trust says the military's help is more than welcome. With the support of the military, we will have a, a, an easier access um, for patients that may require um, treatment elsewhere. It's all about planning, preparation and the training that's required. Now, having the opportunity to practice with a Chinook helicopter is not something that we can do every day. Um, I think it's several years since we were able to combine our uh, planning and preparation in this way. But it was a, an opportunity today to work with our military partners um, that we just could not afford not to do at this time. So while it's hoped that this will never have to be used, the message from the Isle of Wight NHS Trust and the RAF is that it's here if it's needed. Oliver Dyer for Isle of Wight Radio.